My name is Amber Kelly. I am the owner of Things of the Things. Um, today I'm going to do a what should a first time loomer have. Um, I will go over the looms. I will go over the the um, tapestry needle. Everything you will need. That way when you go to the store and you decide, hey, I want to loom. Well, let me look at Amber's video. And you will have what you need. Um, I'm going to do my post note shout out. So my post note, go my post note shout out goes to Ms. Let me get her name because I'm terrible at names. Um, she commented on my mainstays review that I did on some yarn. So if you have not seen my mainstays review um, of that yarn, please go back and watch it. Um, Miss Hearty Girl One. Miss Hearty Girl One, thank you for commenting first. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And I, I am also going to shout out her business page. Her business page is, I hope I'm saying this right, but Goings Creations. G-O-I-N-S Creations. And her name is LaShawn Robertson Henderson. Um, so yes, I would like to give her a shout out. This is her business page. So yes, if you are the first one to comment, the purple owl, I love it. So yes, um, if you are the first one to comment on my video, video um, I will give you a post note shout out. So if you are the first one to comment on this video, um, I will give you a shout out. Okay. So first things first. There are several type of different looms. Um, the one I prefer to use are the Nifty Knitter sets. Um, the Hobby Lobby sets. If you're not able to find the Nifty Knitter set, I will show you other options. But this is a Nifty Knitter set. So if you have this, you are good to go. This will be all that you need. Um, like I said, this is more so for a preemie. A preemie baby. This one is more so for a baby. A, a, a healthy, normal sized baby. Um, this one is for... Sometimes you can fit an adult on here, but I would say kids mostly. So a kid hat you can fit on here. And the big yellow one. I would say all adults can fit this one uh, because I did try to make an adult hat on this one. It was too small. So I would prefer that adult, kid, baby, preemie. Okay? And if you're not able to get a nifty knitter set, uh, you can also get, you can go to Hobby Lobby. Um, and that Nifty Knitter set, sometimes you can find it on eBay or Amazon. Um, sometimes you can find it at your local um, thrift shop. Um, because sometimes on eBay and Amazon, they do sell them for $50 and that's way overpriced. So, to save you some money, here is another option. You can go to... Hobby Lobby, or you can order off online off of Hobby Lobby. It's the same deal. This large one would be for the adult. The next one would be for a kid. That's the green one. This one would be for a normal size baby. And this one would be for a preemie baby. Um, I will have all of the information um, as far as like how many pegs are, are, are on each loom. Um, I will have that in the description box. Um, so yes, and these were um, $14.99 at Hobby Lobby. So you can get these for $14.99 at Hobby Lobby. Okay, um, another set and I'm missing one set. 
So I'm going to use this set to kind of, you can get these from except for, no, except for this because I'm missing the one that goes with this one. So I'm just adding this one in, but it comes in a set of four. All your looms should come in a set of four. Um, these you can get from Michaels. These are about 20. Um, again, make sure you use coupons, even with the Hobby Lobby ones, even with the main, I mean, not the main stairs, but even with the Michaels looms, make sure that you use your coupons. It will help you out a lot. Um, again, this one would be for an adult. This one would be for a kid. This one would be for a normal size baby. This one would be for a preemie baby. So yes, start off with looms. Like I said, Michaels, Joann's, no not Joann's, Michaels and Hobby Lobby are the best place to get your looms. Um, I do not encourage anybody to use boy looms. I just don't, uh, personally, I do not use them. Um, I have a video of best and worst looms. Um, if you go back and watch that video, you will see me talking about um, how boy looms, the pegs pop out. These, these three set of looms that I just did, those do not pop out. They are very smooth. It's easy to work over. It does not stop your work. So you have that. Next thing you want to do is get you some good yarn. Um, if you are a first-time loomer, I would I would not say go out and buy the most expensive um, yarn. Uh, I would highly suggest that you would go if your Walmart check to see because not everybody Walmart's has it. But if your Walmart has mainstays basic yarn. You always use two strands because this is a number four. And if you use just one strand, your hat would be awfully thin. Um, I did a I did a video review on main stage yarn, so you can go back and watch that. All of that ties into what I'm talking about today. So I did a review on main stage yarn. So beginners, I would say highly suggest that you use this. This was not the um it, it was only one ninety seven a skein, so it's not it's not high and it's good at a price and it's soft. Um, I have made things with it. Um, I will see if I can post a picture um, because I'm actually working on a hat, so I will see if I can post a picture or I will do it in my next video. But yes, beginners, if your Walmart does have this. This is a good this is a good one to start and you don't have to go broke trying to get yarn. Okay? Um another thing, if you're going to be working with different stitches like a pearl stitch, a U U stitch, um if you're doing the stock knit, the eight figure, I mean any any stitch that you can think of. Um, because what I noticed that when I first started looming, I had trouble keeping, um, I had trouble trying to tell what, what did I do last? Did I do a knit or did I do a unit or did I purl? Um, so stitch markers are very important. Um, there are a lot of stitch markers out here. Um, personally me, I'm going to show you the two that I like. Um, I like the clothes. I like the clothes hanger type of type of um, stitch marker. So it looks like a little clothes pin. And like I said, you just snap it. And let me see if I can get something to kind of hold up with. It looks like this. So this would be what you would get. So, you can get these on Amazon. I got a hundred um, for about a dollar and some change. It probably came back like maybe three or four dollars when I got through paying for shipping and all that. Um, here's another one. This one you can get at 
your Joann's. You can get this at your Michael's. Um, I like this one as well. Um, they come in a set of 35 at Michael's, and I think they are between 3 and $4. So, these you will need. So, yes, please make sure that you have your stitch markers. Um, because, like I said, if you're working with a lot of stitches, you will, you, you're going to lose track like I did. And, like I said, I keep mine in a little jar. Um... The jar I got from Family Dollar for like $2. So, that didn't break me. So, like I said, I have a lot of them because, like I said, a lot of the times I work with a lot of projects. I'm one of those people that start a lot of projects and have and stop. So, yeah, stitch markers. You will need stitch markers. Um, and I have different stuff here. A pom pom maker. If you're gonna start, if you're gonna make pom poms for your hats, um, I would suggest these. I usually put these on the adult hats. I usually do these on the adult hats. Um, if you want me to do a re um, a tutorial on how to make a pom pom, just comment below and I will do that. Um, this one I usually I I normally put on the baby hats uh, because it's not as big and it, it fits just right for a baby hat so I would say for a baby hat for an adult hat and just let me know if you all want me to do a tutorial on that and I can get that done um, but yes you would need pom pom makers if you plan on making a pom pom you can get those from Joann's you can get those from Michael's um, they kind of range. Um, just go on Michael's and Joanne's website and you would be able to see that. Uh, make sure you get you a pair of scissors. Um, you can get scissors from anywhere. I have me a set of purple um, scissors. Um, the scissors were a dollar. And they work just as fine as those $20 scissors. Uh, I'm pretty sure probably the $20 scissors would be perfect. But just to start off, go to the dollar store, get you a dollar pair of big scissors. Work just fine. I'm still using mine. Uh, a KB hook. Okay? I have told people over and over, I highly, highly highly suggest that you use these because normally when you're getting um your looms they come like this as a matter of fact they come like this you get this and you get a tapestry needle so this comes in your set when you get your loom but my issue is is not this these are good so make sure you keep these it's this when you are looming, literally, you will get blisters. Um, this is not as squishy and comfortable to the hand as this one. So this one is like if you go into Joann's. I'm not sure if Michael has them. Um, you can check your local um, AC more too. Please make sure you check your AC more. Um, I'm not sure if... AC Moore has these and Michaels, but I know for sure Joann's has these. Um, these, these is, this is the knittingboard.com, and it's the KB hook here. So, this is a must. A must. Like I said, this causes blisters. Um, uh, personally, me, I do not like these. Whenever I get my looms, I do not use these. Um, I just sit them to the side, so I have like a whole collection of them. Um, like I said, it just, it does not work for me. And normally, every time that um, I see somebody that moon knits, um, a lot of people do not use theirs. They use, they use this. Like I said, it's much comfortable on the hand. Um, it's kind of squishy. My hand does not blister up when I use this. My hand only blisters up if I try to use this. So, I highly encourage that you use this okay so if you have that your next thing that you will want to get tapestry needles 
your tapestry needles at the most you can get two in a pack $1.99 or $1.59 or something like that all of the craft stores have these um, like I said this one is the bigger one so the hole you know you see the hole is bigger um, this one you can say you can use for your more chunky yarn um, you get two in the pack they always come two in the pack so like I said you can get you one that this size and I and I I put all the information down at the bottom as far as what size is this tapestry needle, um, and then for that thin yarn, this one, you can use this one. Uh, like I said, they do have both sizes. I highly encourage that you get both. Um, the only thing that I can say about this one, the plastic ones that come with your looms, these have a tend to bend. These are a needle. These do not bend. So for longevity, like if you want to keep this for a while, please get you some needles. You can still have these, you know, just for a backup or whatever. So tapestry needles. You do need tapestry needles. Uh, I highly suggest that everyone gets a row counter. Um, there are different types of row counters. Um, for me, I like these. I like these just because um, they go on your finger. So if you're looming, you can put this on your finger. It does not hurt. It's not going anywhere. So, I mean, yeah, just like that. And like I said, it, it's, it's a soft material, so it's not hard. Um, like I said, it has the big button is where you would push for the numbers and it has like a, a smaller button so you, you can reset it. Or you can do it the old fashioned way and just do tally marks. But I highly suggest that you get you a row counter. Um, you can get these row counters. Sometimes they have them on eBay and Amazon. Um, and what else? Oh, a loom pen tool. Um, personally, me, um, I don't like to use this. Um, I tried and I just could not get it. Um, but like I said, you would need something to guide around your loom because tension is very, 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 very important. Um, if you wrap it too tight, you're not going to be, you're not going to be able to pull over. So, you can either get this one, and this is the Boyd Loom Pen. Sorry about the lighting. But the Boyd Loom Pen. Or, you can either go to Walmart, Target, or Dollar Store. Get you a pen. You can either get the long one, or you can get the short one. Or you can just cut it down short. Or, you can use a pen. And I forgot my pen. Um... But I'll do that next time on another review. Um, like I said, you can use a pen. Just take the inside of the pen out. Slip your yarn down there. And just, you know, do like you would normally do. Um, like I said, these straws, you can get these from the dollar store for a dollar for a pack. Um, like I said, you can either get the long ones. Or you can get the short ones. It does not matter. But yes, you would need a yarn guide. This is what I call them, a yarn guide. And me... Mine's came in a set of four, um, and I got mine from Target, and I think it was like probably like about four dollars. Um, like I said, you would need that, and that's about it. Um, you would need to have fun. Um, I what I will show you though. So this one would be for a baby. Um, this one, it, it came off of that. So, for this one, it makes a, a baby hat. So, your healthy, normal-sized baby hat. Okay? And this is the one that I would say that is for a kid. It's the bigger one. Uh, actually, it is this one. So, this one. The green one would make your hat. 
and for your your adult hat this is the one that you would use the bigger one okay the bigger one makes the adult hats and what I did want to go back and say was okay can you see how see how it has like that real indentation right here where you can tell it's very 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 important to not wrap all of your pegs at one time I know a lot of people say do it and you can get done quicker this what happens when you wrap all of your pegs at one time and that's called a lateral a ladder effect so you see how this part is kind of kind of up a little bit and this part is kind of down that's because when I first started looming I was just wrapping all of my pegs at one time that's not the right way you would have a hat looking like this it's like it's it's kind of like off balance so it's very very important to wrap your peg one at a time so if you are this is your starting peg so I'll turn it to the side this is your this is your anchor peg I mean so if this is your anchor peg you start well for me I do not start directly across that's why another another thing people messed up you do not start right here directly across you go this way so when you start right here, do not start and then just keep wrapping all the way and come back around. No. You start right here. You wrap this one two times, knit it over. Wrap this one two times, knit it over. You do each one individually for the first for the first row. Then the second row, at the most you would you can wrap would be either four. Yeah, four. So if I'm if I'm back here, I would wrap one, two, three, four. Wrap those. Do not wrap the whole peg again. Just wrap one, two, three, four. Then do another three or four. One, two, three, four. And then you just keep going around like that. Because I'm telling you, if you wrap all of your pegs at the same time, you will have a hat that is off balance this would be sticking up this would be down okay so yes that is all that I had to say about what a first-time loomer would need um, just go back and watch the video about everything that I said I know I said a lot um, so yes but like I said I am the owner of things of the things um, and again, my post no shout out goes to Hardy Girl One. Um, like I said, be the first one to comment on the video, and you get your business. Uh, I give your business a shout out, and I give you a shout out. So, Miss Hardy Girl One, thank you, and please go check her page out. G Going Creations, G O I N S Creations. And again, if you have any comments, please put them in the bottom. If you would like to see any other kind of videos, just let me know. Um, but yes, so happy looming. Bye.